Hello everyone, we will continue that topic ALV and we are covering block ALV currently. So in the previous videos, we started with what is block ALV, why we are going for block ALV and in the last video, we started with the practical part of the same. So as a part of that, in these two internal tables, we have the data of VBAK and VBAP table. We prepared the field catalog for VBAK. Now we will prepare the field catalog for VBAP and then I will replace these with text symbols. So firstly, what I will do, I will copy. Suppose I will copy this. I will paste. Now I am preparing field catalog for VBAP. This is your VBAP, 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 VBAP. First column is same. VBAP, VBAP and VBAP. And now this internal table is VBAP. Now you can easily understand why I pass the internal table. Now same way we will copy for second. Maximum people do the mistake here. Either they will forget to change the work area or they will use same to same internal table. See first five columns are into this, this internal table. Now three columns should go to this internal table. So we are preparing the second field catalog. I'll just copy this because here the name is changed. This is your second column position. Now our this is postnar. Now this is your postnar is item number. Now we will go for third column of second field catalog. This is your third column position. This is your Matena. And Matena is material number. I will check the syntax up to this level and I will activate. So our two field catalogs are ready. Now we should never, never hard code the labels into one language because it will create a translation issue. We will not be able to translate into other languages. Now text symbol topic is already covered now in a BAP programming part two playlist. So it is good that here now we will go for text symbols itself. If you do not have the knowledge of text symbol, no problem. Just go to a BAP programming part two playlist and learn text symbol and then you can apply the text symbols here. So what I will do, I will simply, simply go for text symbols. I will write here text hyphen 000. Here I will write text hyphen 001. Here I will write text hyphen 002. Here I will write text hyphen 003. Now I will go for text hyphen 004. Now here, this is our, I will use text hyphen 000 only because this is 000. If you can see, we have same label. Sales document number, sales document number. So I will go for 000 only. This is our text hyphen 005. And this is our text hyphen 006. Now I will create these text symbols. You can create from here itself after double clicking or you can simply create from here also. It is totally your wish. Suppose I will activate up to this level. And I commented the hard coded, hard -coded labels. Now we will go through text symbols. Go to text elements. I will go for text symbol. Suppose this is 000. 
I'll just delete this as well. For you, it will not come, yes, sir. So what is our first sex symbol? Zero, zero, zero. But we have written sales document now. Zero, zero, one. It is our creation date. Whenever, if you double click from there, it will navigate here only. Creation date. Okay. B B E L N E R dat E R Z E T time username zero zero four is document category. Now we will go for zero zero five is for item number. Now zero zero six is for material number. Now I will simply activate. Okay. Now we will go to back button. Now we are not hard coding and you can simply see it will navigate there itself. 000 sales document number 001 002 3456. So our two field catalog ready, our two internal tables are ready in which we have that data. Now we need to simply, simply perform these three steps. Firstly, we will initialize the block ALB. Then we will append that data to the block. Yes, we will append that data to that blocks. Yes. Then in the third step, we will simply, simply display. So I will firstly call this first function module. I will copy this function module. I will simply go for pattern button and I will call the first function module that we are going for initializing the block output. Now you can see these three are optional parameter depends upon requirement we can use. Whenever you will proceed further, yes, you will learn PF status user command, then you will get the more knowledge of the same. As of now, we are simply, simply going for this particular thing, block ALB. Now, I underscore callback program. Suppose if I will double click onto this function module. I will go for yes. I will go for import. You can see only this is the mandatory parameter. All other are optional parameters. So we will pass this particular parameter value. And what is this name of the calling program? So I will pass the name of the program. Now, to pass the name of the program, we have a system variable. What is that system variable? Psi rep ID. You all know whenever something starts with SY, it means it is a SAP system variable. If you do not want to go for this system variable, you can pass like this also. This is your program name. You can pass this also. It is totally your wish how you want to go. But the best way is if we have a system variable, we will use that system variable. The system variable will automatically take this program name. It is a system variable for report ID, program ID, report name, or we can say program name. So it will automatically take this particular thing. Whenever you will proceed further and learn interactive ALV at that time, yes, this parameter will play a vital role. So what is this? We are passing the value of the program. This is our program. So SAP will understand that into this particular program, we are initializing the block. We are initializing the block output. Now I will simply, simply call the second function module. Now, what is the second function module? The second function module is to append, is to append. Now we need to append the first ALV, second ALV, because this is the meaning of append. With the help of append, what we are doing? If suppose if I'm appending a record, it will be in the internal table. If I'm appending one more record, it will be after that particular record. Same way is here. Now we will append two ALVs. Yes. 
so we will go for appending of first alv we will go for appending of second alv it means we will call this function module two times suppose if you have four alv five alvs you need to call this function module that many times so with the help of this function module it will append first alv to block output second alv to block output third alv to block output so we'll simply call this function module i will call this copy this function module and i will call we'll go for pattern now this is extremely extremely important because so many mistakes will be into this particular part firstly never forget to uncomment the exceptions it is always a best practice yes now your data your first alv data is in which internal table lt underscore vp8 done in which internal table you have the field catalog first field catalog lt underscore field cat underscore vbak so we pass the values of these two parameter now whenever i double click on to this function module i will go for yes i will go for import you can see first four parameters are mandatory to pass because their optional is not ticked it means we need to pass these four parameters compulsory as of now we only pass this we need to go for this also we need to go for this also we need to go for this also anyways we are not passing any value but they are mandatory so we will simply simply pass the blank yes as of now yes we are not going for any layout we are not going for any event yes but we need to pass because they are not optional they are mandatory so we will pass so firstly what will be the suppose in front of this i am writing lwa layout now i underscore tab name what is your first internal table name i will simply simply pass lt underscore vba this is the most most common mistake and so many people will not get the output this is your data internal table so i put without single quotes here we need to tell sap that this is the name of the internal table so i put in single quotes just understand the difference here i want to tell sap that this is your data so i put without single quotes here i want to tell sap or i want to make understand sap that this is your internal table so i put in single quote just see here you put in single quotes you put in single quotes now now in front of this i will write lt underscore events now now what will be the type of lwa layout it will be same as that of is layout what will be the type of lt event it will be same as that of it event so how i will know the type of this we will simply double click the best way i'll just open this function mode into a new session so that every time there is no further navigation I will go for this function module. Here it is export. It means here it is the part of import. Now I will simply declare. Firstly, I will write LWA underscore layout type. What will be the type of this? This is that. now i will write lt underscore events type this is the type we are not passing anything we are not passing any values to these parameters but yes but they are mandatory so we need to pass so i will simply simply check the syntax up to this level yes it is syntactically correct and we are activating now you can see 
we simply appended the first alv to block output yes because this is your first alv data this is your first field catalog yes now i will simply simply go for second you can call through pattern also or you can copy paste it is totally your wish now here suppose i will write lwa layout vbap i will declare this is your vbap because this is your second field catalog this is your vbap this is your vbap now i will declare for the best understanding i will make it vbak i will rename so that there will not be any confusion i will just make it as vbak this is our vbak now we will make vbap so we appended the second alv also we'll check the syntax okay it is lt events vbap so our second step is also done we initialized and we appended the two alvs to the block output now what is the third step we need to display so i will call the third function this is our third function i will go to pattern now here no parameter is mandatory yes but best practices never forget to uncomment the exception so now i will simply check the syntax and activate so what is the summary of this particular video firstly into this video we prepared the field catalog for the second alv we simply replaced the hard coded text with text symbols and we created the text symbols after that we called the first function module if by calling the first function module we pass the name of the program through system variable scirep id if you do not want to use this system variable no problem you can directly pass the program name also now our block output initialized now we need to append the alvs into the different different blocks so we call this function module whenever we are calling this function module firstly pass the data this is your field catalog but these three parameters are also mandatory so what i did i simply check the type we passed up these parameters yes because they are not optional they are mandatory now in front of tab name tab name means your internal table name i put in single quotes and capital this is the most important point and people maximum people do the mistake here yes this is your data so i have not put in single quotes here i want to tell sap just take it as a name of internal table take it as a string so i put in single quotes yes now same way we call this second time because we need to go for two block alvs we need to go for two blocks of alv we simply change the internal table name we simply change the field field catalog internal table we simply change the data internal table and the third step we call the block list display function module and we are simply simply uncommenting the exception it's always a good practice that uncomment the exception because if some runtime error if some error is there at least runtime error will not come now in the next video we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode so if some confusion is there it will be automatically cleared so that's it in this video thank you